What's going on guys, it's Will here from TechnicConsumer.com and today I'll be showing you guys how to uninstall CyanEngine Mod 9 from an HP touchpad. Be sure to back up your Android and WebOS data before continuing, as it is always best to back up before doing anything like this. And your Android data will be wiped during the uninstall process. First off, you need to make sure you have Novacom installed. Novacom is the program which allows your touchpad to communicate with your computer. And lastly, you need the Acme Uninstaller, which you can find at the download link in the description. Before you continue on, it is highly recommended that you make sure your touchpad is almost fully charged. Once you have those things completed, you are ready to move on to the next step, which is to put the Acme Uninstaller in the same directory as the Novacom program is in. If you use the links below to download and install Novacom, then the process should be the same as on my screen. If you used another method to install Novacom, I would recommend searching for Novacom on your computer. Once you have found the program, simply copy and paste the Acme Uninstaller file right in the same folder. Next up, get your touchpad ready by connecting it to your computer. Let Windows install drivers, turn it off, and then let it boot into MoBoot and keep it there. In MoBoot, scroll down to Restart and quickly both hit the Home button to select Restart and press and hold the Up Volume button. If done correctly, you should see this USB icon. If not done correctly, just try again through MoBoot. Now that your touchpad is in recovery mode and connected, it is time to wipe Android. Open Command Prompt by hitting your Windows key plus R and typing into the box CMD. Hit Enter or click Run and you will get the command prompt. To access the run box in Windows 7, you can also simply click start and type in CMD and hit enter. Once you are in command prompt, you need to guide it to the same folder where you place the Acme uninstaller. This folder should also be the folder that Novacom is installed in. Command prompt starts you in your user folder. To get to the top, aka root, of your computer, where your program files folders are, you need to type CD then hit your backslash key and hit enter. You should now see the letter C, then a colon, and then a backslash. If you have never done this step before, it may be helpful to click on my computer on your desktop and click through to where Novacom and the Acme installer are. You'll need to remember the folder names and their order for this next step. Once you are at C colon backslash, type CD, then hit space, and then type the first folder name exactly as you saw it. You can move the command prompt window over and open the folders again to remember what the spellings are. Once the first folder name is in completely, hit enter and type CD, then hit space and type the next folder name. Keep doing this until you are in the folder that has both Novacom and the Acme uninstaller. Now that the command prompt is in the folder, it can see the files, so we are going to tell command prompt that we want to use Novacom to run the Acme uninstaller on the HP touchpad. To do this, simply type, but do not hit enter afterwards, novacom boot mem colon forward slash forward slash greater than symbol space Acme uninstaller. Now that command prompt is ready, ensure your touchpad and you are ready. By executing this command, you will remove CyanogenMod9 from your HP touchpad. If you are absolutely ready, hit enter when inside the command prompt window. Your touchpad should start working like this. If you get any Novacom is not recognized or failed to connect to server errors, you have installed Novacom wrong. Once the Acme uninstaller is complete, your touchpad will boot into WebOS since Android is no longer on it.
you would like to see more tutorials like this, be sure to comment down below. And if you would like to be notified as to when I post new videos, be sure to subscribe. And finally, if this video helped you, please thumbs up the video so this tutorial can help other people as well. For more videos like this one, as well as tech news, tutorials, and reviews, be sure to check out techandconsumer.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys in my next video.